Kevin Alexander. A lot of people find knives really complicated. I'm hoping to simplify them here for you really quickly. So most of your work in the kitchen will be done with your chef knife. That's this knife. It's a little bigger and it really handles most jobs. I literally use this for almost everything in my kitchen. The exceptions will move on to the serrated knife. Now this is just for bread and tomatoes. The teeth make it really easy to cut through bread and cut through tomatoes without squishing them. Then we have the utility knife. Now this knife is good for the real fine tuning. Like I use this most for cutting the gristle out of chicken. You know, you wanna poke in there really well. It's perfect. And then the last knife, the paring knife. Now this is also for a sort of fine tuning or even decoration and peeling. I like to decorate mushrooms using this one, or you can peel apples, although a vegetable peeler works well with that too. Now, the piece that you really want to spend your money on is your chef knife. This is the one you're going to use most of the time, so put most of your investment there. The other three don't have to be as precise. And make sure, no matter what, that your knives are always nice and sharp. So many people end up in the emergency room because they're fighting to cut things and then they slip. That causes injuries. The sharper they are, the more they go through, and the safer you'll be. See? Really simple.